there are a few videos out there on how to change the valve cover gasket for an 01 Sienna. However, they're overly complicated and they're having you take off all these parts that you really don't need to take off. So I wanted to make a video to show you guys how to do this job without all the unnecessary drama. The oil's been leaking from the valve cover for a while now. It's spilling all over everything. There's crud buildup. So it's time to change the valve cover gasket. An important note is that these 01 Siennas can have two different part numbers for gaskets. So I would call Toyota, give them your VIN number, and then have them tell you which is the correct part for your van. I ordered a gasket off Amazon and it ended up being the wrong one, so I had to return it. But I ended up having to do this job one and a half times for that mistake, so make sure you get the right gasket. You'll need to grab yourself an Allen wrench to remove the plastic covering. The first thing I did after taking the plastic off was getting this hose off that goes straight into the intake. This hose can be stuck on there pretty good and I actually nicked it the first time I did this job because I used a flathead. So I wanted to be extra careful this time. Um, I laid down a cloth and took a wrench and just kind of like twisted it back and forth to loosen it up. Then once it got pretty loose, I just took my hands and did the twisting motion with my hands to get it off. You can see where I nicked the hose the first time I did this job. So I ended up wanting to be safe and I got a hose from Toyota. I couldn't find it anywhere else, so I got it from Toyota. And just in case, you know, that it cracked further. This is one part of the job where I saw other people who make videos add a lot of extra steps that were unnecessary. In order to remove the coil packs from the valve cover, all you have to do is just unbolt them from the valve cover. It's unnecessary to unclip them and do all the other stuff that other people were doing. And you're going to be using a 10 millimeter for this and for the whole job. It's all 10 millimeter from what I recall. So I just removed the three bolts and I put them in a cup and gently just slip them out and push the stuff out of the way a little bit so you have access to the bolts in the back of the valve cover. Next you're going to take out all of the bolts that are bolting down the valve cover with your 10 millimeter. The bolts are all easy to take out but there is one bolt that is underneath the radiator hose. I did not remove the radiator hose, I just experimented with different things. So I tried an Allen wrench and I ended up being like, I don't know about this, you know, this could strip the bolt because it's a tiny Allen wrench and it's all I have right now. So I ended up getting a short stubby 10 millimeter and just forcing it under the radiator hose. This is another part of the job where people in other videos were removing the radiator hose and that just makes such a mess with coolant leaking everywhere, so I didn't want to do that. So I loosened it up with the stubby wrench and then I did it with my hands the rest of the way. Once you get your bolts out, it's time to remove the valve cover. Just gently get stuff out of the way and gently lift it up. I don't think I mentioned this by the way, I put a rag over the holes just so that nothing falls into them. Another unnecessary thing that I saw people do is that they would remove this plastic piece. It's like a moon shaped plastic piece and then they would reinstall it with some RTV. But I ended up skipping that, it seems unnecessary to me. And it's a plastic piece on an 01 Sienna. Like, this is an old van. I feel like it's just too dangerous and it could break. And nothing's leaking from there. So, I would just skip that if I were you. Just taking a rag here and cleaning the boundary, by the way. Now, um, I'm removing the old gasket. And I'm cleaning the boundary of the valve cover. I don't even know if this is necessary, but I'm a Virgo rising, so I like to clean things. The gasket that you order comes with these o-rings that you're supposed to install. I'm skipping this part because I already installed them on the last job. 
basically there's these little tabs that hold them in and you just want to like bend them like gently bend them up so that you get the o-ring out then you put the new o-ring in and you bend those tabs back down to hold it down when you order the gasket it comes with two gaskets one for the front and one for the back valve cover i'm not doing the back valve cover because i don't think it's leaking and it's something that i couldn't do to be honest so i'm just changing the front one and make sure that you use the right gasket it'll line up good it might take a couple tries but you'll get it you're gonna want to get things out of the way and prepare yourself for the landing whenever you grab your valve cover just like make sure that the gasket is on there good and you're gonna want to firmly hold it in place as you put it back in putting the left side in first was the most easy for me and you just feel your way around it and make sure that puzzle piece really fits sometimes parts of the gasket can slip off when you're putting it on so a good trick to use is take a mirror and just make sure that everything's on there fine how you can put the bolts back on i put them on by hand first and then tighten them down till they're like flush but not tight on there and then eventually you're going to want to do a crisscross pattern to tighten them so that everything tightens evenly. So for example, you would tighten the top right corner and then you would tighten the bottom left corner and then the top left corner and then the bottom right and, and you keep doing that zigzagging through the bolts. Gently slip the coil packs over the spark plugs again and bolt them back in and don't tighten too hard because this is plastic i didn't end up using the backup hose that i bought from toyota later on i put some electrical tape around the split in the hose because it's really not that big of a deal and the electrical tape will do its job it'll be fine and yeah so put it back on and remember to put the clamp on and that's all folks like we did it i'm so proud of you now i gotta wash my hands because i have a date tonight and i'm a lesbian so i might need my hands good luck i believe in you <laughs>